In this video tutorial, I will explain how to draw the perspective projection of a straight line. The problem is given like this. The ends of A and B of a straight line are 20 mm and 40 mm behind the picture plane and 35 mm and 15 mm above the ground plane. The distance between the end projectors in the top view as measured along the picture plane is 50 mm. The station point is centrally placed with respect to the end projectors with 70 mm in front of the picture plane and 70 mm above the ground plane. Draw the perspective projection of a straight line. This is the given problem. Draw the picture plane in the top view. Then one end of the line is 20 mm behind the picture plane that is point A and another end is 40 mm behind the picture plane that is end B. The distance between the end projectors is 50. So here the 50 mm that is, that is the distance between the end projectors. So the line joining AB here is the top of the given line. Now coming to the station point. Station point is centrally located with respect to the end projectors. That means at the midpoint of 50 you have to take the station point and the distance between the station point in front of the picture plane is 70. So in front of the picture plane distance you can see in the top view. This point is top view of the station point that is S. Then draw the line joining S to A. The intersection point of this SA line with PP gives the point A1. Draw a line joining SB. The intersection point of SB and picture plane is A1. So here A1, B1 points are representing the perspective projection of the line AB in the top view. Actually you have to get the perspective in the front view. So for that take the ground line GL. Draw the projectors from A and B. After that represent the heights. Height of point A is 35 mm. This is A dash. Height of point B is 15 mm. This is B dash. Line joining A dash B dash is the front view. So centrally with respect to the end projectors at a distance of the height of the station point is again 17. This point is now S dash. Draw the line joining S dash to A dash and S dash to B dash. Now draw the projectors from draw, the, draw a projector from A1 to the line S dash to A dash. This intersection point is capital A. Similarly, from B1, if you draw a projector, here you will get capital B. Line joining capital A and capital B is the perspective projection of the given straight line. This is the top view and front view method. Here you can notice the distance between the PP and GL is more than 140 you have to take because in front of the PP distance of the station point is 70 above the ground plane the station point distance is 70. If you take more than 140 you can avoid the overlapping of the views. Now we will see the top and side view method. Take the picture plane. As usual draw the top view just similar to the previous case. This is the top view. This is the top view of the line. Next take the top view of the station point. Obtain A1 and B1 points. After that take a profile plane as shown here. P1, P1 is the profile plane. Then onto the profile plane project the side view. Now from A1 I am drawing a from A1 I am drawing a locus line. From there take intersection point of this PP line and P1 P1 line as center and this distance as radius draw an arc. Then draw the projector. On this projector represent the height of the point A that is 35. This is A1 A double dash. From B you draw the locus then draw the arc then draw the projector then represent the height that is B double dash. Line joining A double dash and B double dash is the side view. Now draw the side view of the station point. From the side you can see the height as well as the distance from the picture plane. 
this is height 70 this is distance from, from the picture plane 70 this is s double dash this point is s double dash s double dash to a double dash royal line the intersection point of this line with respect to profile plane profile plane is the a1 double dash now draw a line joining s double dash to b double dash the intersection point here and the profile plane is a b1 double dash now draw a projector from a1 and locus from a1 double dash this is capital a projector from b1 locus from b1 double dash this is capital b line joining capital a and capital b is the perspective projection of a given line ab this is the top and side view method next i'll explain the vanishing point method for vanishing point method only top view is sufficient no need to draw the front view or side view now as usual i'm drawing the top view this is similar to the previous two cases getting the top view is just similar to previous two cases this is the top view of the object top view of the station point then obtain a1 and b1 points after that draw the ground line then at the height of the station point you have to consider the horizon line now the next step is you have to obtain the vanishing point for getting the vanishing point what you have to do is draw a line parallel to the given line draw a line parallel to the given line and passing through the station point parallel to the given line and passing through the station point this line will intersect with the picture plane somewhere here this point is small v from this point draw a projector onto the horizon line this is the required vanishing point capital V after that you have to find one line called as line of heights to get line of heights what you have to do is you extend the given line until it intersects with the picture plane and from that intersection point drop a vertical and this this line is called as the line of heights on this line you have to mark the height of each point point a height is 35 that is a dash point b height is 15 mark that point that is b dash on line of heights you are marking the heights of the given points then from a dash draw a line to capital v that is the vanishing point then from a1 drop a projector this intersection point is capital a from b double dash draw a line to capital v vanishing point from b1 dash draw a projector onto this line this intersection point is capital b line joining capital a and capital b is the perspective projection of the given line this is the vanishing point method.